Okay, we'll start with the partridge. Uh, dry, lightweight, size 10, L3A. This is a grey Shear 14 alt. So we just run a little foundation of tying thread just about halfway along the hook shank. Then what we need is some grey 2mm closed cell foam and we cut a 2mm strip off the end of it like this and what we do is we just take our scissors and trim the end to a point like that and we take a cautery tool and we just mark the body all the way around so we get a daddy body so what we want to do then is we take the foam body and we cut off about there depending on how long you want it's a bit too long that I'll remove it about there a couple of turns back spin your tying thread anti-clockwise so we flatten it out we don't want it cutting the foam I like to make these daddies a little bigger than the natural because they stand out a little bit more I feel then what we do is we want some daddy legs if you have problems knotting daddy legs you can watch my video on it so we just go back here we want the two back ones tied in first these want to be pointing backwards it doesn't really have to be the same length but it makes for a neater fly if they are uniform we go forward that's good we can have those a bit further down but as long as the illusion of legs is there we can trim these off then we need two chocolate done cock hackles for the wings take one at a time Let's position those again a little larger than life I always find that those work better than the perfectly realistic sized ones Two more legs. Something to thread out. Another one here. It's looking good. I can move forward just a few turns. And I can tidy all this up. There we are. Good. Then we go back here. And I take two fiery brown webby cock hackles. secure these in I want these to be pointing slightly backwards so you see that I've not tied them in 90 degrees I want a real lot of hackle on this it's a little too long so we just trim those off Always want 
Voilà. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. That'll do us just fine. And what we want is two more sets of legs. One on that side and one on this side. Well, get that in position when I wrap my hackle. Under that. There we go. That's good. Trim off these. And those. Very good. We need to attach our hackle plier to both hackles at the same time. And we can start winding. Move our thread forward. a real load of hackle on this so it makes a lot of surface disturbance There. Yeah, I'm going front. Push everything back. I can get another turn on that. Swap that over. Tie them off. Remove that. Pull everything back. Start at the eye, just work our way back. And we can pull off the hackle point. Looking good. Then we need a partridge hackle. The speckled grey with the bound stripes. And we want to tie this in just get this hackle out of the way. I want all this pointing backwards no matter what. I can just go back over that. There we go. And we take the partridge hackle. We attach this. Then fold it back. And go over it. Go forward. Take the hackle plier. Fold our hackle back as we wind. Cut 
notch that in. Again, everything back. Let's go over. Form a neat head. Break that off. Finish. Move the tine thread. Give it a drop of varnish. And there we have it, the finished foam daddy. If you enjoyed the videos, please like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.